Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on these gorgeous summer inspired nails and they started off like this and turned out like this. So if you guys are interested in today's video and you're excited, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and let's just get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so starting out, I just want to show you guys all of the items and the products that I'll be using. I didn't purchase anything new for this video, so all of these things you've seen before on my channel. My UV light, these are my Apre Gel X Nail Extensions in the Sculpted Coffin. I have my McCart Gel Nail Polish Set. This is the Pastel Gel Set. And then my Gelish Nail Kit that I'll also be using um, that I literally use in every single video. So everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys my apre acid free gel primer and this is my mccart poly gel in daydream um, so i'm starting off by buffing my nails with my mccart nail file i'm just cleaning them up making sure that i have a uh, straight nice and square lines because my nails do grow underneath every single set and i always cut them down because i don't really um, have a purpose for having my nails long underneath so i always cut them short but they do grow so I just wanna make sure that they grow nice and neat. And then I also wanna buff off the natural shine on my nail. You do wanna make sure that there's no shine on your nail because anywhere that there is is where the poly gel won't stick. So you wanna make sure that you do that. And then I'm going in and I'm pushing my cuticles back. This is very important. Also for the longevity of your nails, if you don't push your nails back, your cuticles back, then when the nail does start to grow out it'll lift very easily along the cuticle line because there will be you know skin and, and stuff on your nail so and then i go in with my cuticle cutter and i just clip away any dead skin along the cuticle and then i'm taking my e-file on the lowest setting this is like the lowest spinning setting and um the little buffer and I'm just running that along my cuticle line. Um, it kind of cleans up my cuticle as well, but it also is just to make sure that there's no shine. Um, I felt like when I really prioritized making sure that I buffed away the natural shine completely off of my nail, um, my sets did last a lot longer and I didn't experience any lifting. So I would highly recommend doing this. And I only do it for about five to six seconds on each fingernail. So it's not like I'm doing like a lot of buffing or anything, but just making sure that that gets done. So that's what my nails look like. All of the natural shine is buffed away. And then I'm going into my Apre Gel X Nail Extensions. This is the Sculpted Coffin. And I know I normally like do the whole nail prep first and then I start with the nails like filling them with the poly gel and everything but I wanted to switch up my routine because I feel like this actually doing it this way allowed me to move a lot quicker which is very important because I don't want to spend you know five six hours doing my nails I'd really prefer to spend maybe two to three hours so I went and I picked out all of the um, nails that fit my natural nail and then I'm going in and I'm using an acrylic nail cutter and i'm cutting the nails down so that they're all the same length um also doing this before applying the poly gel made it so much easier um, as opposed to filling the entire nail with poly gel and then trying to cut it off or trying to shape it down to a shorter set because this this set is going to be a shorter set um, this set was in preparation for me going on vacation and I know I didn't want a super long um, set for vacation I wanted something short something manageable I knew I was gonna be like in and out of the water and stuff and and having to use my hands a lot and I just didn't want to um, risk breaking a nail or anything which has never actually happened to me before but you know better safe than sorry you know so I'm actually going in and I'm cutting all of the nails down and then I'm shaping them before I fill them with the poly gel. So if you guys have watched any of my older videos then you've seen that I normally will fill the nail and then I'll shape it. But that just takes so much longer to shape it because now you have more product to work with because you're working with the soft gel nail and you're working with poly gel um, as opposed to just doing it on just the soft gel nail which is very easy to file. These nails are made out of um gel they're soft gel nails so they're very like bendable and flexible and file fileable that's not a word but you guys know what i'm talking about you can file them easily so 
I went in and I shaped all of them in an almond shape and then I'm going in with my e-file and first I picked up um, this like I don't know what shape this is but this really narrow nail drill bit and I was trying to file the inside of the soft gel nail and it wasn't really doing what it needed to do at all so I switched over to this one that kind of looks like a teardrop um, and this one was perfect because these are the sculpted so the nail is very curved it has a very high apex and it just fits so beautifully inside of the soft gel nail I would definitely recommend using this one in the future um, I know I've told you guys about this nail gel that I've gotten off of Amazon a million times before it was only $20 and it came with all of these nail drill pieces so I will definitely have that linked down below in the description box for you guys but I'm just going in and I'm buffing the inside of the nail. This is very necessary for the soft gel nails because this is going to allow the poly, the poly gel to adhere to the inside of the nail. And then the poly gel is going to adhere also to your natural nail. So you got to make sure that you buff away the shine. And then I'm going in with my Gelish kit, the dehydrator, the pH bond dehydrator, and I'm just applying a single layer of that to all of my nails. And then the Apre Acid Free Gel Primer and doing the same thing and letting that dry on my nails. And then I'm going into my Gelish kit and taking the foundation. And this, I'm doing a single layer on every single nail. Um, not too thick. You don't want to make this too, too thick, especially if your nails are on the thinner side, then it'll kind of burn or tingle underneath the UV light. So you want to make sure that you do a thin layer because um, that's all that you need. And that's what those look like. And then you're going to cure underneath the UV lamp for 30 seconds. And then when you take them out, your nails will be good to go for some poly gel. I'm going to fill the inside of all of my soft gel nails with my poly gel. And I'm using the McCart poly gel in the shade Daydream. This has easily become my favorite poly gel color of all time. It's just the perfect like pinky peachy color it's very natural looking on any skin tone um so i'm just filling every single nail with the poly gel as you guys can see literally just doing a nice bead on the inside of every single nail and then taking my mccart poly gel brush um and their nail surface cleanser that also can be used as slip and i'm just patting and spreading out that bead that I place on the inside of every single nail. I'm gonna do the same thing, repeat the same process, but I'm just spreading out the bead so that we have a full nail, like a full cover nail filled with poly gel. See how easy it is? It's just, I've gotten, I don't know if you guys remember my first tutorial of using these nails, using the soft gel nails and using them with poly gel. I was struggling so much and it also took me so long, but I've definitely gotten so much better at it because of just time and practice. And I feel like everyone just kind of sees that like my sets come out good and they think that I, I just get it. I just get it from the beginning or I just get it off jump. But seriously, you guys, I struggle just as much as you guys do. So don't get discouraged. You just have to practice. You have to try it multiple times, but it's going to get easier every single time that you do it. So I filled all of the nails with poly gel and then I spread out the bead nice and flat and even. Um, and then I stuck it on my nail. I stuck the pinky one on first. You saw me clean up the underside because a lot of you guys were asking to see the underside. And then I just cured it with poly gel for 30 seconds. And that pinky nail is on. Like she's on and secure. She's good to go. So I'm doing the same thing on my ring finger. I applied it and made sure to clean up the underside and then I cure for 30 seconds. And I just move on to the next finger. So I'm gonna repeat the process for all of my fingers. You see me applying pressure with my middle finger to my index to make sure that it's like nice and flat and flush. I don't want any air bubbles. Um, and then anything that kind of seeps out the sides, I clean up with the brush as well. And this, this part literally moved so fast for me. Like once I got all of the nail prep down, and the shaping of the nails like this actually was the quickest part and if i just wanted to stop here i could you know 
So now I'm going in with my McCart nail file and I'm just kind of cleaning up and shaping again because I noticed my index finger was a little bit longer than the other nails and that's just because of how I cut it. I didn't cut it as short. But I just went in and I'm like cleaning up the shape and buffing and I also like to buff the shine off of the top of the nail because I know I'm going to go in with um, gel polish. So I just want to make sure everything's kind of matte and buffed away. This was the photo inspiration that I found on Pinterest um, that I'm going to be working off of. And then these are the gel colors that I'm going to be using these pastel colors and then my white and then I'm going to be using these paint brushes that I got from Michaels little like thin paint brushes and the first finger I'm going to be working on is my middle finger and I'm repeating I'm trying to replicate the same uh squiggly line that I saw in the photo on one of the fingers it wasn't on the middle finger but I kind of was just like using it for inspiration I didn't copy it exactly because I didn't have the exact same colors and then there were also certain designs that I didn't want to do but for the most part I really loved the nails I felt like they were very summer inspired very fun and quirky and I don't know I thought they were perfect for vacation like I literally saw the photo and I was like ooh. This would be perfect for vacation. Like, I love these nails. They're very fun. And every every so often, I want to express myself in a very fun way on my nails. So I did that, and then I cured for 30 seconds. And I just made sure to go over every single design with the gel color a second time because I wanted it to be very opaque and pigmented. You can't tell that well but if I just did one layer of the gel polish it was a little it was like opaque but not fully opaque it was kind of streaky so I definitely had to go over it a second time um, next I'm moving on to this pink color that was so pretty oh my gosh it's like a pink with like a purple undertone and I'm doing this on my pinky finger I don't really know what to call this design that I'm about to do. <laughs> it was in the photo. It kind of looks like zebra print. It kind of looks like a pink zebra print um, and I'm just cleaning up the cuticle. But I don't know if I did it properly, but I'm gonna show you guys. So I cured for 30 seconds and then I'm going in and I'm doing a second layer of the pink gel polish. And then I'm curing again for another 30 seconds. And then I'm going in with the white gel polish. And I'm going to take that same brush. I cleaned it off and take some of the white. And I'm going to do these little squiggly lines. It kind of looks like zebra, but then again, it doesn't. I don't even know. Tell me down below what do you guys just think what do you guys think this design looks like because i'm just gonna say it's a pink zebra or like yeah that's what i'm gonna say it is but honestly do whatever your heart desires i wasn't stressing the design of these too much because i wasn't like really trying to get something exactly perfect you know i just wanted something fun and different and like colorful and it served its purpose okay period so for my ring finger i'm going in and i'm using um this little sewing needle as a dotting tool and i dipped it into the yellow pastel gel polish and then i'm taking the same white brush that i used with more white gel polish and i'm doing little daisies i originally was going to do two daisies on this finger but because that's what was in the photo but I also realized that my fingernail was a lot shorter and smaller than the length of the nail in the photo so I wasn't able to actually fit two because I did the first one really big so I'm gonna end up wiping away that second yellow dot that I didn't cure yet but for right now I'm just kind of mapping out the daisy on my finger That's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna wipe away that little yellow dot and then I cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going in and I'm kind of just like trying to round out the petals a little bit more because I wanted them to be a little bit rounder and less um, linear. 
so that's what I'm just doing here and I'm kind of also just going over the white because I wanted it to be really vibrant and that's what that looks like and I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds the second I like something on my nail I literally cure it because I don't want it to move I don't want it to mess up I don't want anything to happen to it so that's why you see me literally like throwing the light down and curing right away because I'm like oh I love the way it looks right here I'm gonna set it in place you know um for this index finger it's a yin yang sign but not in black and white instead I decided to do it with this peachy color this peach and then I'm gonna do white um I thought I feel like this is my favorite nail on no it's one of my favorite nails honestly I think my favorite is a thumb which I'm doing next you guys will see but this is probably my second favorite finger fingernail on my hands because it just came out so good and it just looks so cute I kind of want to do like yin yang again but like in another way I don't even know but yeah, I'm just going over it after curing for 30 seconds. I'm going over it again with a second layer so it's nice and pigmented and just opaque. And then I'm curing for 30 seconds, taking it from underneath and then going, and I cleaned off my brush and I'm going back in with some white. Could have also used the dotting tool but I just used the brush and I just placed one um, little white circle on the peachy side and then on the opposite side I did the white circle so you know there goes the yin yang sign boom and that finger's done and I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds and then we can move on to the thumb this finger obviously was the hardest um, taking the blue and that same brush but I cleaned it off this finger was the hardest so at first I kind of just needed to map out where I wanted my blue flame to be so I know the angle is really bad but I'm gonna end up showing you guys um, but I was kind of just trying to map out where the flames would kind of like go up the finger so it's a blue flame that starts at the tip of my nail and kind of works its way up and kind of started out by making like little branch like um i don't even know how to describe it i'm just gonna let you guys watch <laughs> but i liked the way it looked so i set that in place and then i'm going over it again with the blue you guys can see that it's not fully opaque because when i go over it it really like starts to pop but I'm using the photo for reference the entire time. I literally have it sitting right next to me off camera. You guys can't see it, but my phone is like literally right there and it's zoomed all the way in. And I'm just trying to replicate the, the flame as much as possible from the picture. And then I decided I wanted to outline the flame in yellow. In the photo, I think that it was outlined in orange, but I didn't have like such a vibrant orange the way that it was in the picture. So I decided I wanted to do yellow. I wanted to use one of the other colors that was used on one of my other fingernails. And I'm kind of just outlining doing the same thing. And I don't think I showed you guys, but I did go over this yellow outline twice. So this was just the first layer, but I do end up going over it twice um, just to make sure that it's fully opaque. Like I've been saying this whole stupid time. <laughs> no, it's not stupid, but um, then I decided that the ring finger was a, a bit absent. I don't know. I felt like there was just not enough going on. So I just went in and I added some yellow dots around the daisy and then i cured everything and this is what my nails are looking like Ooh, yes ma'am i was so pleased with these i thought they were so cute and so fun um we're not done yet though so i'm gonna go in with my jellish top coat top it off and i'm doing a single layer of top coat on all of my nails
And this is just like my favorite part of doing my nails because it means that I'm done with my set, but it also just really like makes the whole set come to life. Like when you put clear polish on, it just like solidifies everything and it just makes it look like it's under glass. Like this top coat is so pretty. So I cured that for 30 seconds and then I'm going in with my cuticle oil from Gelish and I'm just applying that to my cuticles and honey, ah, we are done. This set was so beautiful, so quick to do actually. One of my quicker sets for sure. Like seriously, I absolutely love the way that these nails turned out. They look so good. Let me know down below if you guys like this set, if this is one of your favorites, the way that it's mine. I wanted to show you the underside, um, super neat and clean. And we're back. Woo! And there we have it, you guys. This is the completed set. She's all done. She looks amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button right now. Stop what you're doing and, and go smash the like button if you haven't clicked it already. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. I upload three times a week. I'm trying to pick specific days, so maybe we should vote down below on specific days that you want me to upload on YouTube, but I do upload three times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye